what's going on in our political world today. Look at the mental illness. Look at the latest hysteria over what Donald Trump said. He dared to say that he is building a wall. His political position is to build a wall and to make Mexico pay for it. And he thinks that that reality about his life might possibly cause a prejudice in a judge who's trying his case, who is a Mexican-American, who himself has membership in several radical groups called La Raza or associated with La Raza, who believe that, who believe that America, the, the land of America should be returned to Mexico. They're so radically Mexican, they believe that, that our land should be returned to Mexico. So he's not just an American, a Mexican-American, but he, he has this radical position on the relationship between Mexico and America. Do you think that there's the slightest possibility that maybe there may just be a hint of prejudice towards a man who wants to build a wall and stop the, the un unchecked stream of illegal immigration from, America, from Mexico into this country? Are you all out of your mind? All of you politicians, all you journalists, all you crazy people out there? Did you call that prejudice? And the very same, very same people come and say, well, I want a different judge, or I, I reject that juror, or I want a different venue for this trial, because my client cannot get a fair trial in this area, because my client is green, and all of the people that live in this, in this area are orange, and he will never get a fair trial. I want the trial in a green area. Which is, a, which is legitimate. You can ask for another, another venue. The country's mentally, mentally ill. The West is mentally ill. And there are counterparts of this mental illness in the church. The inability, initially it's the refusal to see reality. There are people that really don't understand. I just wish that Mr. Trump could have done a better job of explaining himself, which he did not do. Couldn't explain himself, and that reporter kept saying, why, 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 why are you against a judge? Because his parents came from Mexico. What do you have against him? His parents came from Mexico. Do you think a man whose parents came from Mexico can't give you a fair trial? Is that what you think? The answer is that it's already been demonstrated that this judge has the appearance of not being fair. The, the reporter, the reporter seems sincere enough. If he really didn't understand, then he has the mind of the beast. He's sick. He's mentally ill in his mind. Listen, you don't have to agree with the conclusion, but if you cannot understand the problem, there's something really wrong with you if you cannot understand the problem. You cannot say it's to keep it healthy. You cannot say, Mr. Trump, I think you're a racist because the judge's parents were born in Mexico. You have to say, if you want to stay healthy, Mr. Trump, I understand that this judge of Mexican heritage who has been influenced surely by his parents and the very fact that he is of, of Mexican descent, that he is actively involved in organizations that want open borders, that want illegal immigrants, that think the land should be returned to Mexico. That is his, that is his thought today, not his parents, but today that is his thought, that his whole purpose that a man whose motives, a man whose mentality, a man whose passions, and there's nothing wrong with that, what he's doing as long as he stays within the law, that a man whose passions are to restore this country's land to Mexico, so what's going on in the spirit, on the soul, in the soul world, and it's going on in the outer world, an evil soul has captured the media, 
large members of the media and the political stream in this country and elsewhere. What we do here, when we deal with one person who was doing that, doing the same thing that that reporter was doing when he interviewed Mr. Trump, saying, what is your problem with the man that his father and his parents were Mexican? Brethren, do you understand that a question like that makes it impossible to resolve the problem because the problem is denied. And I've seen this tactic come out of the left over and over and over and over and over again. Because they know that if the people listening really understand the problem, that they will come to the right conclusion, which is against the left. And the right conclusion is that Mr. Trump should, that that judge should be recusing himself and there should be another judge on the case. That's the right conclusion. So they know that if you have any kind of intelligence at all, if you hear the facts, that's the conclusion you're going to come to. So they confuse, they confuse the facts. And you never reach a conclusion. 